murder, conspiracy, secret societies. No town is without its fair share of mysteries, and Roseburg is no different. From rumours of a secret underground tunnel system, to a public feud that led two newspaper men to a pistol duel in the middle of town. These stories and more are featured in a new walking tour highlighting Roseburg's most notorious and sometimes controversial history. So there's a dentist murderer that actually we're right about to pass his old office. So there was a dentist named Dr. R. M. Broomfield. He had a dental office here from about 1909 to 1921. Jennifer Graffiada is a history enthusiast, researcher and creator of a new interactive tour called The Ghosts of Roseburg Past. The self-guided walking tour invites participants to stroll the streets of downtown, past nine distinct locations connected to historical figures and significant events from the city's past. One such location is the former dentist's office of Dr. Broomfield, the murdering dentist of Roseburg. He had um, a scam going where he needed apparently a lot more money than his dental office was bringing in for whatever reason. And so he had burned down several properties to collect the insurance money on. And then he apparently got it into his head that he should fake his own death by committing murder. Another location is 713 South East Jackson Street, formerly the home of Roseburg's first opera house. Our camera crew was invited inside for an exclusive look at the building's interior. So I think what it was is the Oddfellows meeting hall was up here and then the opera house was the first floor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that was the um, The first opera was played here in 1893. Yeah, and they did all kinds of different shows here. Buffalo Bill's Wild West show came in. Um, they would do wrestling matches, beauty pageants, different types of plays. I mean, that was the entertainment back then. Obviously, they didn't have TVs or movie theaters even back then. So it was just, it was live, live plays, live drama. In the 30s is kind of when um, movie theaters became more popular. There were actually three or four indoor movie theaters just in the downtown area. So there was one over by where we're going to Elks Lodge, the Indian Theater. It was originally called the Antlers. There was one called the Star. There was one called um, the Majestic. And so that, I think at some point that overtook the live drama productions, even though there were still some of those, um, just indoor movies became more popular. I know you've said people have sensed different energies oh, and yeah. whatnot. We definitely have ghosts in this building. <laughs> Mostly upstairs in this floor too, um, but certainly there's lots of pianos get played without any explanation. <laughs> you walk into a room and the energy feels one way and then all of a sudden for no real explanation, everything just changes. Sometimes it's, and you can, I can sort of sense whether it's kind of a curious feeling, whether it's a annoyed or negative feeling or a positive feeling. She said that most of the spirits are positive or neutral, except in the basement. It's a little bit creepier, yeah. We, we gotta go to the basement. Okay. <laughs> All I have so far is kind of rumors about it. Um, people haven't been able to really access the tunnels. I don't know how safe they would be, but I know that they exist. Several of the businesses have these basements that look like and have what look like boarded up entrances. Basically, in this basement, um, it's all cement wall, and there's one sort of open hole that has, when we looked at it originally, it had like a ring of salt around the entrance, which typically uh, means someone has put that there for some sort of protection ritual. So I don't know um, any stories about what's happened down here, but it has a very distinctly different way more negative vibe the closer you get to that um, that entryway. We headed back up into the light of day to hear the story of Roseburg's most controversial statue, the Hebe statue. But you'll have to take the tour for yourself to hear that story. Jennifer had one last surprise for us. Inside access to the Elks Lodge to see if they too have an entrance to the secret underground tunnels. So, then we went into another dark basement. Okay. 
Get in behind there or something. I don't know. But anyway, that is supposed to be the access to the underground. There's all kinds of stories that are out there. Um, uh, one of them was that during Prohibition, you could go from one establishment to, to another without being seen. <laughs> um, I don't know. In some areas, like in Pendleton, um, the Chinese used it because that's how they moved around town. And I'm not sure if the population of Chinese or anything were here to see if, to yeah, know we, if that were part they, of it. Yeah, they came through to work on the railroad mm -hmm. and the mines and things like that. And yeah, they had a law where they weren't allowed, mm -hmm. yeah. minorities weren't allowed to be on the street after sundown. It's clear that Jennifer's lifelong appreciation for history and fondness for her hometown compelled her to create this exciting new tour that she hopes will spark other people's curiosities for local history, as well as help renew the spirit of downtown Roseburg. I just think it's interesting to be able to walk down the street and, and know that that building was the old opera house or that a shootout happened there, or that it was uh, the dental office of Dr. Broomfield, just some of the stories and it makes it come to life. And I, I feel like it's gonna facilitate more pride in the downtown area. Uh, I want people to know that there is a really rich history here, that this used to be, um, I mean, it still is a, a fun place to come down, but back in the day, it, it was the place that everyone would come to be entertained. Um, they would do all their shopping down here. They would get dressed up and just kind of people watch. And um, it was just a really, a really happening, beautiful place. To learn more, Go to ghostsofroseburg.com or swing by the Experience Roseburg Visitor Center at 555 Southeast Kane Street to pick up your free Ghosts of Roseburg map.